think about Crossroads and our community groups, we think about the three C's. Communion, community, and commission. And all of those are interactive and intertwined with one another. It's not like you're just doing one of those things at any one time. You may focus on an aspect of relationship and communion with God or community with other people or commission and reaching out to those that don't have a relationship with God through Christ yet or they may not be engaged in a church community and how we want to engage that and make that real in our lives. It's easy just to say those words, it's easy to agree with that intellectually, but the intent is, is that it will become real. For us, we try to do it as often as we can, so we're going to get together once a week. It's going to look different uh, from time to time. What we're getting at, what we're working towards, is that church is happening all the time, and community group is a way that that functions. We have been able to spend some of our evenings together talking about the sermon and talking about God's Word and what's there, and just being able to not have a, a Bible study per se, where we're sitting there trying to mine out all the truths, but taking what already has been given to us through the sermon messages, and then talk about what difference does that make in my life. We try to dig into what we're going through as a church, kind of get into the Word, and, and Maybe ask some of the questions that might come up during a sermon, but you might not be able to have answers at the ready or different applications that we've experienced personally. Kind of share those things in the group, um, spur each other on to kind of look at that stuff deeper on a regular basis. And then to be able to be together in this kind of setting and to pray, where we turn our hearts up to God and hearing one another's prayers in a group like this. And, and praying about the real things of our lives and knowing that God hears us and that God is powerful and God is loving and that because of what Jesus has done for us, He is acting uh, on the behalf of, of us as individuals and He's acting on behalf of what He's wanting to do around this world and we get to engage in that. It's not something that we just talk about, but it's something that we live through the sharing of others' burdens, through the meeting of needs, through challenging each other when we're not quite making it and celebrating when, when we are. It's been a place that we can be known, that we can kind of share the burdens that life presents on a continual basis, that we can share the joys that come with walking through those burdens, and that we can kind of practice the gospel in real time. That's where community is really going to begin, is just being able to just relate and, and, and be able to understand and know each other for who we are and as we are, imperfect but in process together and, and seeking to know Christ better and seeking to, to share Him with others. That's been a huge encouragement for us. It's been a great thing to model for our kids, for them to see church isn't just at a place. It's happening in our lives every day.